Hi everybody, my name is Alberto Sanchez Rojo. I am assistant professor at Complutense University of Madrid. And in this video, I will briefly introduce the main ideas of my paper, a paper entitled Information and Communication Technologies, ICT, and Young People Identity Development, the Importance of Solitude. My paper is divided in three different sections. In the first one, I depart from the work of the German-American philosopher Hannah Arendt, who, on the basis of ancient Greek political thought, claimed that what makes the difference between animals and human beings is the possibility of being individualized, that is, the capacity of distinction between what one is and who one is. Ancient Greeks got that individualization in the agora through the speech in front of others, using the speech as a means to reach the acknowledgement of others. However, every political speech, every political action hides an important danger. Nobody can predict neither the time of appearance nor the subsequent consequences of it. Any political action could lead us to the best, but also to the worst of the possible situations. According to Arendt, the awareness of being oneself among equal others could prevent the appearance of horror, and the development of that awareness was what Socrates intended to do when he created Maieutic. Maieutic is a kind of guided dialogue consisted on making people think, that is, critically reflect as a practice of what they should do with themselves before acting. Socrates believed that human beings were not merely rational animals, but thinking beings, whereas the rationing ability is related to logics and objectivity, the capacity of thinking has to do more with subjectivity and moral. Arendt defended that it is the in the encounter between one and oneself when the individual develops a moral consciousness. For Arendt, it is in this silent and solitary dialogue of myself with myself in which my specifically human quality is proved. Going deeper on this idea in the second section, I address the educational meaning of solitude. If we look up the concepts of solitude and loneliness in the Oxford Dictionary, English Dictionary, uh, we will not find a great difference between them. However, there is a difference of nuance. We could say in general terms that to be in solitude means to enjoy the fact of being alone, whereas to be in a state of loneliness means to go through a mournful experience because of staying without any companion. When political freedom has disappeared, at least in solitude in my private life, talking to and with myself, I can still be someone. That is because learning to be in solitude is important from an educational point of view. It does not mean to be in isolation, but to be temporarily distant, to have a break in order to be able to dialogue with myself, that is, to reflect with and by myself. Taking this into account, in the third and last section, I show to what extent this experience it is, now, it is nowadays hampered. Citizens are currently undoubtedly more and better informed. However, in our technologized world, everything smells, everything signs, everything means. Our daily practices are saturated with stimuli. Therefore, inattention or disconnection are the modes of relationship with those practices or those oversaturated discourses. We are under pressure and we can extend this to all, of, uh, all areas of our lives. ICT leave us without time to think, to be with ourselves and therefore to create, to form our own moral identity. And this is dangerous. So in conclusion, we must say that just as it is important to learn to use technologies, it is also important to learn to disconnect from them and from the world. It is essential to know 
who we are regardless the world outside of ourselves. Let us conserve humanity. Let us educationally promote the experience of solitude. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.